Hello, Breezy Bunch. Happy Friday. We have a foodie beauty community post rage from 38 minutes ago. And boy, is it a long one. So here we go. So it's sad that not only does the degenerate community of Girl World condone and cheer on and laugh at innocent people getting swatted and threatened with violence. I only threatened violence if I have to defend myself, which is totally legal. And more. Foodie. <laughs> Do you forget all the threats of violence you and Salah have been making? Like literally in my last video, I have all your screenshots up. Who's threatening violence to who? You literally threatened a man on behalf of your stepdad with his crossbow. You've called CPS on people. You've called the police on people just because you were mad at them. You threatened to call my work. <laughs> and then your beezers did too. Do you understand you're getting back everything you put out? And you're all, oh no, this can't happen to me. Why was it fine to do it to everybody else? You doxed P.I. and left it up on your page and then doubled down and said you weren't sorry. Look what you did to Shannon, your in real life friend. Do you realize, like I said, you are getting back everything you put out. And are we cheering on? I don't know. I just see a lot of people who think like I am right now. We're not condoning it, but we're sitting back watching it. That's just it. Okay, she, she continues, I only threatened violence if I have to defend myself, which is totally legal, and more, but they also find Islamophobia and mocking cultural differences hilarious. Is she talking about because Marty wants them to kiss? I just, certain things aren't adding up, foodie beauty. You can't kiss on, in your apartment on camera, not out in public. You can't kiss him in your apartment on camera. But he can play an illegal game and film the sex scene in it? Make that make sense. Seems a moronic trend among the sheep has come about where it is hilarious to grown adults to laugh and mock the cultural differences in this country. Threatening to harass a Muslim couple to kiss in public, which is against our religion and the laws of Kuwait, is stupid and wrong. Sad you need to be schooled on this. Again, it doesn't make sense to me. You can't kiss him in the privacy of your home and your apartment on camera, but he can stream a sex scene in a game that's illegal in Kuwait. Make it make sense, foodie, because I'm, I'm just not getting it. She continues... As for me, breaking other rules and laws in Islam, that is for God to deal with, not degenerate trolls and especially non-Muslims who threaten people and swap people, etc. Booty, you're literally getting back everything you've done to everybody else. Just sit down, calm down. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Karma's here. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess supposedly if you kiss, you can stop it. But how does it feel, Foodie Beauty? How does it feel? to have met your match how does it feel to have every single thing you've done to other people come back at you 10 times harder doesn't it suck to have innocent family members brought into online drama that has nothing to do with girl world or any of this yeah it really sucks when you bring my 10 year old child into the girl world all the time it really sucked for pi when you drug her family into it Really sucked for Shannon, too, what you said about her daughters. Even Yabba. How does it feel? And a Muslim couple? We know you're cosplaying as a Muslim. I have the clips up on my channel. You're literally only wearing the hijab and abaya because you want to cover your fat. And you admit to that. All right, let's continue this. Uh, not with the degenerate trolls, and especially non-Muslims who threaten people and swap people, etc. I have an eating disorder, but you also don't see what I eat in between meals. Therefore, you cannot judge and say I am gluttonous and blah, blah, blah. Um, you are gluttonous, and I am judging you. And blah, blah, blah. Overeating is not against the law here. And again, that is for all to deal with me, not anyone else. As you can see from the travel advisory site for Kuwait, PDA is illegal. Yeah, so is everything else you're doing, foodie beauty. So is the language you're using to describe other Muslim women. 
Didn't you call somebody's wife a whore? I think a lot of what you say and do is very illegal, especially when you're not really married. There's no possible way you're married. There's receipts all over Twitter. I think you're breaking several laws, and like I said, you should probably take several seats before more attention is brought to you. Um, let's see. You are all just proving yourselves to be repulsive and juvenile-minded as usual. It is also, she calls us juvenile-minded, literally, she calls Marty Marty Farty, but we're juvenile. We're juvenile. If I have ever said anything vile, it is always in self-defense from the harassment. So calling children prostitutes is in self-defense just because somebody has an opinion on you? Saying I sold my daughter for a bottle of alcohol is defending yourself all because I have an opinion on you? I don't think so. It is always in self-defense from the harassment I endured. Are you seriously going to tell me that because I had an opinion and vocalized that I didn't like the action of someone online my family deserves to be doxxed? Literally, shut the hell up, egghead. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been doxxed because of you and your community, all because I had an opinion on you. You're trying to find out where my daughter goes to school, all because I have an opinion on you. Again, sit your ass down and take several seats. These are the people you are co-signing. I know all involved think you will get away with it, but you underestimate me. I am also persistent and I am not even 0.00001% afraid of another human being being on this planet. You think it is a one-up on me to send cops out when you are wasting their time? Ridiculous. Grow up. How much you want to bet comments are off? Yep, she can talk so much shit, but our foodie can't handle it. All right, what does the screenshot say? It is against the law for unmarried couples to live or stay together in hotel rooms. Uh Uh-oh, foodie, so what are you going to do? You're unmarried. Public displays of affection between men and women are also illegal. Wait, so I guess when he came home drunk and he was rubbing all up on you like it was gross and everything, that's a public display of affection. I still have it up on my channel. What are you going to do, foodie? Uh, It says, standards of dress and behavior are conservative. Avoid wearing shorts or tight clothing. Foodie, we could see uh, your fupa, just to let you know, with your tight uh, clothes because you're bursting out of them. It says, take particular care in areas like Jahara, and and that's what it says. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I love how she wants to, again... She's hoping new people see this and will read it and be like, oh my gosh, this innocent couple's being mocked and doxxed all because they're Muslim? Oh my gosh, like, no, foodie. I will be happy to let anybody who's trying to know the truth or find out more about you know the truth about you. You're cosplaying as a Muslim. You're absolutely vile. Every day you're raging. You're crossing the line. You're hitting new lows. And then you think just because you delete it, it never happens. Well, I have... Most everything you've done horrible to me, to other people, everything you've said about children. I even have the clip where you called his wife a whore. Was it Murad's wife? Wasn't it his wife, you guys? You can't fool anyone. You guys are disgusting. If you guys want to see more proof of what they've been doing, definitely go check out my last video. I think it says like Foodie Beauty Twitter in the thumbnail. Um... These people are absolutely vile and they want us to feel sorry for them right now. And I just don't and I never will. I'm sitting back with my feet kicked up and uh, some popcorn and I'm watching everything unfold. I'm watching everything you've you've done to other people come back to you and it's beautiful. And again, I want to ask, how does it feel when you want us to feel sorry for your family because they're not in Gore World? What about our kids who are not in Gore World? Many of us that you've dragged. What about our families you've doxxed? What about that? You're not special. You don't get to do things to other people, but oh no, we can't do it to Foodie Beauty. No, karma's here. Karma's beautiful. And um, I'm watching it all go down. I'm watching it all go down, and I'm happy to talk about it with the Breezy Bunch. All right, you guys, let's talk about this in the comment section. Hold on, let me refresh really fast. 
let me refresh and make sure we're not going to end this and then she already put up a new one nope that's it that's it all right you guys let's talk about this in the comment section i hope you're having a great day great evening wherever you are and i will see you so soon bye